Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Takeover coming back with a Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you. We're going over a little bit of a news article today and also going to take a look at some of the charts that are being talked about in this news article. And if that sounds interesting, go ahead and stick around and let's get started. <clears throat> All right, so Bitcoin hovering around $19,000 right about now. Uh, maybe people are expecting a little bit of a retrace or possibly a pump here. Um, possibly maybe going on into the rest of this week. We'll take a look at the charts here in a second. Let's take a look at the articles first. Ethereum, Ripple's XRP, and Chainlink are beating Bitcoin. These minor cryptocurrencies are too. <clears throat> Bitcoin has an incredible 2020, more than doubling its price since the beginning of the year, with some predicting it will, climb, it will continue to climb. The Bitcoin price has recently soared to its 2017 all-time high, but has failed to break through the psychological $20,000 per Bitcoin barrier. Now, after Bitcoin's rally has helped capitulate or uh, catapult cryptocurrencies back into headlines, investors are eyeing the sky-high returns of smaller so-called altcoins, including Ethereum, uh, Ripple's XRP, and Chainlink. <clears throat> and so we've gone over Chainlink, Ethereum a couple of times on the channel, and uh, you know we, we've also gone over XRP too. So we'll take a look at those charts uh, here in just a second. Bitcoin has found support this year from investors looking to hedge against the inflation they see on the horizon, solidifying Bitcoin's uh, reputation as digital gold. The Bitcoin price has added 150% over the last 12 months, but has been left in the dust by the price increase some other cryptocurrencies have seen, many of which have soared amid a flurry of interest in decentralized finance. Using cryptocurrency technology to recreate uh, traditional finance financial instruments such as loans and insurance. Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency by value on which many DeFi projects are built, has added 300% over the last 12 months. Some think it's still got a long way to run. Ripple's XRP, the largest, uh, third largest cryptocurrency, has jumped 165% with most of its gains coming in just the last months. Chainlink, a cryptocurrency and blockchain network used by DeFi and broader projects to link up data sources, APIs, and payment systems has added a staggering 500 percent through 2020 um <clears throat> so obviously these gains are being made in these altcoins right now uh and i i think you know bitcoin's pretty pretty right pretty much right around that area but i think that a lot of people are saying that these alts still have a lot more to go uh, among smaller tokens cardano stellar lumens top 10 cryptocurrencies have added 300 percent and 200 percent 200 percent uh respectively the massive rallies are, dolf, are dwarfed by the returns reported by a handful of uh, minor cryptocurrencies, Yearn Finance, used by investors seeking interest like yield <clears throat> to move funds around in the DeFi ecosystem, has climbed a mind blowing 2,600% in just the last year. So, Yearn Finance, obviously uh, one of those coins that had taken off quite rapidly, um, way past Bitcoin's even um, price high, too, as well. Uh, NIM, a cryptocurrency that powers the economic growth blockchain, has added 550%, while Theta, the cryptocurrency token of a blockchain-powered network purpose built for video streaming, has soared almost 800%. Uh, you know, NIM and Theta have also been on our radars, too. The Ethereum price has been boosted by confirmation the Ethereum network will this month begin a long-awaited upgrade that those in the cryptocurrency community hope will help Ethereum scale. The recent rally in Ethereum associated with the multiple factors. Uh, the chief executive of my ether wallet sent via email pointing to ethereum benefiting from the overall crypto rally in beginning of the first phase of ethereum 2.0 these price movements aren't necessarily due to the to a decrease in supply but because of the fame and excitement that comes around the innovation of block in blockchain technology this is just the initial phase phase zero of ethereum 2.0 rollout building the foundation for ethereum's 2.0 success i expect the I expect that Ethereum will continue to gain prominence in mainstream circles as we hit future Ethereum 2.0 milestones. Meanwhile, other Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investors are confident that has been a shift in sentiment this year. There are several factors that allude to the permanent shift in sentiment towards Bitcoin. <clears throat> Europe's largest digital finance manager with 1.8 assets under management uh, sent an email uh, on an anecdotic level based our client conversations over the course of 2020 we have seen a decisive shift from uh, inquiries of a speculative nature to those that begin with comments such as bitcoin is here to stay please help us understand it <laughs> so this is something you know <clears throat> a lot of the funds and um, you know departments such as um, you know where you're keeping your 401k at and stuff too 
um, you know, they're not going to tell you about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. You, you have to call them up and tell them that you want to invest in these assets um, because obviously, you know, there's still a little bit of speculation when it comes to um, other places. And if you're not going to be the one that is going to make the moves to <clears throat> tell your fund managers that you want to invest in this stuff, then, uh, you know, they're not going to do it for you. Uh, you have to bug them as much as possible, either get your 401k out of uh, stocks and into crypto or find a way that you can do that on your own, obviously, right? <clears throat> not financial advice. And it's something that it's kind of hard to grasp for a lot of people. But um, the more you study it, the more it makes sense. Uh, and so here we have uh, also in news today, Steve Wozniak uh, apparently has listed a coin and uh, we can obviously take a look at this. It doesn't really seem like anything that I want to get into, but uh, let's see. Uh, so it's called Enforce Efficiency Projects using blockchain. The projects will be able to get funded um, getting crowd distributions from investors using Enforce token. The company is registered in Malta because Apple Inc. and Nasdaq Apple co-founder said he had it long awaited to invest in the region. It has been on mine for decades like no other place in the world. Interesting. So the fact that, you know, these people now, these millionaires, billionaires are starting to come out with their own tokens. Um, they see the potential in blockchain. They see where money can be made. And uh, this is what they're doing to uh, obviously make their own standing inside of the cryptocurrency space too as well. You know, you're probably going to see uh, a lot more of these uh, wealthy investors come out with their own token assets too, as, you know, and uh, call them cryptocurrencies for the most part. So uh, that's just a little bit of news that's going on right now. Let's jump on over into the charts and all right, taking a look at Bitcoin here on the daily. Let's jump on over into the charts, see what's going on here. Uh, so daily starting to get a little bit of a green dot here, but we're going to kind of zoom in just a tad bit and see what we might be approaching for us too as well. Money flows are looking really good here on the on the daily. 12 hour getting a red dot. Um, so we could see a little bit of a retest back down at the um, you know 21 EMA. Um, that's where I keep a close eye on about 18,700 or so. Um, taking a look at the 10 hour, um, let's see if we've broken below our 21 EMA anywhere. Uh, six hour, possibly retesting it too as well. Um, honestly, this is kind of setting up for a little bit of a bearish pattern uh, for the most part, but we are still putting in some higher highs here. We still have an overall kind of downtrend um, inside of our six hour time frame. Money flow is looking decent though. Um, what we kind of want to see is <clears throat> possibly on some of these lower time frames. It does look like our money flow was kind of recovering here on our four hour though, um, for the most part. Uh, but if we dip below the 21 EMA, we could probably pull up our 50 EMA and maybe find uh, some possible um, you know, support there. It does look like we are finding support here on the 50 EMA as of right now on the four hour. So we could leave our 50 EMA up if we wanted to <coughs> on our four hour chart. Going into our two hour chart, also finding support here on the 100 EMA. Uh, this is definitely where we'd want to find support, um, but we'll have to wait to see exactly how this wants to play out. Um, I'm probably expecting a little bit more of consolidation out to the side, uh, maybe finding support here on the 100 EMA before we um, you know, continue to rise up any higher. Um, I did have a trend line down here that just got broken too as well. Um, so we'll kind of have to keep a close eye on this too. Uh, and maybe consider that we could start to consolidate out further to the side or we see a little bit more of a retracement. Um, so I'm gonna definitely be keeping a close eye probably on the four hour um, 50 EMA and then possibly the 12 hour 21 EMA uh, for us to come back down and retest uh, that area before um, if we go any lower than that, then obviously we're gonna be uh, calling for some lower numbers, but <clears throat> I'm thinking that we still continue out uh, probably sideways for the most part and then we'll maybe see a push to the upside possibly later on then so keep a close eye on this let's go over into the dominance chart just really quick see what's happening here um, dominance obviously it does look like bitcoin has been losing a little bit of its dominance um, kind of consolidating out to the side as of right now getting stuck in between two emas here on the daily time frame and then taking a look at our 10 hour time frame still kind of getting squeezed in between both EMAs there too. So probably expecting a big break from one side or the other in one direction. Today does look like it's ready to kind of bounce to the upside. Um, so, you know, I'm going to say that Bitcoin's probably going to make a move to the upside here. Uh, once dominance uh, starts to round up just a tad bit more, then we could definitely see that happen. Uh, so let's take a look at Ethereum. <clears throat> Actually, we'll go over into the DXY really quick and kind of browse in here. 
DXY on the two day. <coughs> also seeing a little bit of a sell off. Um, as you can see, money flow still moving down into that red there. Possibly wanting to uh, give us a nice little big green dot down here, but um, you know, I would still consider us kind of just moving down uh, this purple trend line down here and uh, maybe setting up for another bearish uh, retest on this purple trend line later on. If we do get a bounce, um, you know, we could get uh, uh, another little rally pro probably back up to about uh, 92 cents or so and then maybe come back down to retest that, um, you know, lower purple trend line there too. So let's take a look at Ethereum. We'll take a look at um, XRP and Chainlink. So going over to ETH, let's see, where are you at, Ethereum? Ethereum to USD, here we go. Um, taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, still riding this trend line up very nicely. I mean, just holding support here um, on our 21 EMA on our daily time frame. Uh, so things are still looking really pretty good there. Uh, zooming out just a tad bit, it does look like we are um, <clears throat> trying to find support on our 21 EMA on the 12 hour. Uh, obviously getting a, a red dot to the downside here too as well um, could lead us lead us to drip a little bit below that 21 EMA and then maybe come find support on that 100 EMA down here too. What we'd probably want to see is a, a, a green dot like this. So if we came down below our zero pivot point, we'd probably want to see another tight little green dot to push us back to the upside. Um, so that's a possibility too. Um, and I would just kind of keep a close eye on if that's going to happen or not. Uh, two days still... Um, finding nice support above our 21 EMA as well. Uh, so we're going to have to wait to see how much further this wants to continue to rise or if we're going to come back down to retest uh, somewhere around that 21 EMA or so. Uh, let's take a look at <clears throat> let's take a look at XRP. XRP here <clears throat> had some uh, price targets drawn out there um, from earlier uh, in the months for XRP. Uh, here on the Two day and daily uh, does look like we are starting to kind of move sideways still just a little bit more, honestly. Um, I think XRP is still trying to make up its mind for the most part too as well. Um, but we'll have to wait to see exactly how this uh, wants to kind of play out for the most part. Um, I still believe that we are kind of in a consolidating triangle as of right now, uh, maybe somewhat of a bull flag. So we'll have to see exactly uh, where XRP wants to continue to go. If it wants to keep moving sideways, uh, we're starting to see the 100 come back up and maybe find support <clears throat> for XRP in the near term. And then as you can see here on our four hour, we are starting to get a break above uh, this bullish trend line here too as well. Um, but we'll have to see whether or not we find support here on our 21 EMA or 100 EMA, and then maybe bounce from there. Uh, so that's going to be a time frame that we can kind of keep a close eye on. All right, let's take a look at Chainlink. Chainlink, Chainlink, where is Link, 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 Link? Link to USD, let's go there. Link to USD, looking at the two hour time frame here. Uh, two hour time frame definitely has uh, some triangle being formed for us right now too as well. So we could take our trend lines and draw them out here possibly expecting a break from one direction to the other on chain link uh here on the two hour time frame we are kind of dipping into that red money flow as of right now too as well uh, let's take a look at the 90 minute just for kicks and giggles still dripping into that red money flow uh so i would definitely consider a consolidation out to the side here for chain link in one direction or the other <clears throat> And then if we are to make a move uh, up or below this, uh, then yeah, we're, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking we got a little bit of consolidation to work with for a, a lot of our cryptos right now. Um, it does kind of look like, you know, we are seeing some red dots here um, on the higher time frames with Chainlink. Um, but if you obviously if we get a close below this line, um, then we're going to be looking for a possible move down to $12, uh, twelve dollars and 20 cents or so. And then if we get a push up, we're probably looking for a retest right at around $14 or so for chain link. Money flow here on the daily, still kind of thin for the most part, nothing too consistent here. Uh, you know, the daily is starting to give us a little bit of a green dot bounce possibly um, here in the near term future. The daily money flow is looking a little thin there too as well. Let's keep zooming out here. Money flow on these higher time frames though for Chainlink is still relatively bullish, especially on the three day, four day, five day. Money flow is still looking really, really good for Chainlink. There's a sell signal unconfirmed. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> you know, it does look like 
our cryptos are probably consolidating out for the most part as of right now we'll have to wait to see exactly what's going to happen but you can obviously draw these trend lines on your charts if you're interested and uh yeah folks don't forget that we have our patreon membership if you want to join us in there and see how we're trading all coins uh see how we're trading in and out of this market with bitcoin too as well feel free to join us over there and don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single video that we make share this video with your friends and family and with that being said i'll see you on the next one cto signing out peace